Hi guys, welcome to the ninth episode of this um, Let's Play. No mods, uh, no loans, and uh, let's make some real money. And so the last episode we were, uh, and I think you were somewhere here. We were, I was making a, a Prince King of this. Um, this was the vehicle of the thumbnail, the last episode. And we are staying ex on the export. And I, I want to speed you up a little bit. Because what I want to do in this episode is um, I want to show you what we have made in February. And then I want to uh, let this run in March. Because in March we won't have uh, imported people. So we can much more fairly see what we actually make in a month. And uh, I want to run it to March 19, which is actually exactly one year later. And after that, I want to run uh, run it until April the 1st, so we can have some stats on that on that as well. And also, maybe what would be interesting to see, and uh, let's just speed you up, we have five more days left. And you see now we have six vehicles, and this flat that is going up and down, just exporting all the vehicles. Mm. So almost exporting all the vehicles it also needs to have some gas as well because I think normally it, it would have taken this route and we're getting extra supplies what are we getting more mechanical components so yeah well how much are you loading now maybe we can store some extra mechanical components right um, that would be so that you don't it's five like uh, uh, L like do it is like eight percent and then this has to be 75 percent am i correct then i don't get this then eight four four this is then 70 uh, four 78 okay i don't know how this works but uh Probably this amounts to 108. Nee, um, 1822. Yeah. No. This is 1822. Um, 26. Plus 78 isn't 100 in my book. Okay. And this is 75 now, which I was. Uh, okay. Uh, don't, don't. Uh, don't do. I don't know if this is a leap year or not. Uh, I don't know if this game has leap years. But we're almost at March the 1st. And we... Well, will we export the last vehicles? We will export probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. So, here we go. So, if we want to have more people for the next month, we do it now. But I think this is pretty okay. It's... it's um, Let's, let's just do it like this. We need to export here as well. Okay, sorry for the... So, um, are we having a leap here or not? Just show me March 1st or... February. Yeah, hold on. Okay, so now we can kind of look at what what, what happened. How, how is my kindergarten? Yeah, there are children now. Yes, so now no one is complaining anymore. So, but anyway, with no further ado, let's um, let's get to the stats. Uh, so, what did we do last month? Um, so we exported for a hundred and twelve thousand. Um, so we made thirty-two thousand, but we lost sixty-six thousand. How is this? Um, We exported for 100. Wow, what is the 61,000? Mainly steel. And that will be for the vehicle production. So am I correct that we lost 30,000 here? Or... Uh, no. Because we, get, um, we exported 112,000. Um, I don't know how to read this actually. We exported 112,000. 
all right we imported uh so some third world uh invitations i thought last month we did more third world invitations actually oh yeah, yeah here <laughs> the soviet invitations oh we we lost money because we had 80,000 of, of soviet invitations so if we would leave this out of it we would definitely have made money namely uh, uh, approximately 60,000 60,000 if you if you leave out the immigrant invitation so that's pretty good news i think um that's pretty great wait a minute 60,000 last month so yeah we we had 80 84,000 if if i kind of uh, even this out on immigrant invitations but we had 112,000 which we exported and 61 was kind of the 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 base material plus all the food we are so 35 42 45 ish thousand was the cost of the vehicle production so 112 min 45 can you do the math is like 70 thousand 70 something um 60 68 67 ish if i'm doing the math correctly so 68000 in this first month is the, in the first month while we were actually uh, building our uh, y university uh, workers so when did we import people if we say this year this year uh imported yeah we kept on importing and this will be probably beginning february because maybe the end of january the, the big heap i believe was the end of january before we did the month of february but in the month of february you see this little i, I, I can't um which is this little um increase of of importing of university so every time we made some money we started importing and now you are already 69 this started as six 60% um, this is all full how is our unemployment only due to low education so the the third world people we imported are still being educated we can go to five maybe sorry for the then uh, these people can work uh, here as well we don't have any no this is going pretty smooth so let's speed you up a little bit um, because there's would it be uh, 57,000 so for this month let's, let's see for this month um, we have already exported this is the first batch for this month this is the 4th of March and here we or we have enough vehicle for the next uh, so this is going back and forth back and forth let's see how this goes and if we need to um, Add because this will be a more um, realistic uh, month because we don't have to import so many people but in the end we will need to uh, also take into consideration if we start constructing we only have the bare minimum of construction uh, materials um, yeah then um, well what it actually means is that what we are um, um, what our Jesus, I, I can't have the the correct word. What are you importing? Ah, steel. Steel for uh, the import. It would have been better maybe for this month to have the steel uh, on the USSR. Because then you can really see, well, what did we buy? And, uh, but now we can kind of deduct a little bit. Because I'm, I'm not going 7th of March and then um here and there's another go we have already made 30,000 and it's the 7th of march and the, and the next 15,000 uh, on the way it's 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 become more that you see 50,649 that's inflation doing its job so how are you with, in in with our materials because we are um importing materials i really need to, to take care that i i do press pause on the 19th of march uh, here 
and uh, the domestic uh, current prices on the global market. So if we do, when did we start importing material? Well, um, once we say oh, the 1st of January and we're importing, say, steel now. How has this affected? I'm not sure a lot, to be honest. Still 365 and from uh, the beginning to March 19, still, I'm still don't, I still don't see a lot of difference, to be honest. So how plastic is obviously pretty much the same. Well, to be honest, uh, wait, wait a minute, a um, uh, year. Here, March. If I look at plastics here, I see it rising a little bit. And uh, uh, February, March, plastic. Yeah, it's uh, sorry, it's it's a bit higher. And what else? Do, well, the rest we mechanical components. That's also what we use a lot. Let's go to the beginning. Mechanical components. This is the beginning of January. You see. A little bit of an influx in the middle, but it's it's January is 1961 versus 9 March 13th now is about the same if you ask me. So I'm not sure. Maybe the whole it gets expense more expensive takes longer than um, just a couple of weeks, but maybe a couple of months. 172. The happiness is even 83. We we do need to to have if well we, we're not going to stay in this republic, but then we would have to do something about our um, loyalty, because what 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 has our product productivity done over the whole? Well, it's actually gone up. So no um, no complaints there. Probably to do with that we uh, started importing uh, uh, just workers and then a lot of people from the third world and uh, let me see in the end or uh, all in the end well this is not really the end right well it's three months we started importing more and more university people who who do have a better productivity so you are going to be delivered before March 19, please. But I think that's it about what we're, what our profit is. Um, yeah, what we can do is kind of look, but I have to play because I, I don't want to miss this. Um, how is the prices? Do I see production uh, here? And then for food, how did that evolve from a uh, year back? Food, where are you? Here. Not much of a change. And meat. It will be the same. A little bit more. 18? Ma March? No, you're not going to uh, get a, another load. But we do also have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, like 10 vehicles on stock, which is. In stock, which is. 25,000 this month. But yeah, you are not going to make it to export this. So let's speed you up. So this is at March 19. Let's... A little bit. Come on. All right, let's pause. So this is exactly one year later. I'm not sure. Probably the day begins here. Uh, when we started our republic with nothing. So where are we now in our... Um, what did we do this month? This month we have earned uh, 93,000. And we have to subtract 24... I know the numbers are not equal. Uh, and in the 24,000 what we are earning... There's also food and stuff. But like 13, like 18,000... No, say 18, 19,000. Um, we have to subtract from 93. 73, 60. So, up until now, we have earned 63,000 um, rubles. But it's 19 March. 
So if we add a 50 to kind of uh, go uh, to the whole month, and I will speed you up like this, then we make 110,000 rubles each month from this uh, production line, which isn't even fully stuffed. So I think that's like amazing. And we might have need another flatbed doing this. Um, so what are you doing flatbed wise? Not a lot, right? Yes, still. The oh yeah, the construction materials. What if we kind of say to you, go there. And then, hold on. You copy to you. And then you go uh, there. And then speed yourself up a little bit. So we need to go to March the 31st. Look at we really having some, some stock here. Wait a minute. Maybe have a little bit of a thumbnail. I don't know if that's interesting, but I really like watching this. Oh, go faster. Yeah, so like I explained in the last episode, we're not going to do the ship thing anymore because that was just for fun and I'm it was really fun with the canal here, but if th that's not going to work, like, like like I like I said, then it's just you know adding a harbor and um, um, importing, exporting, uh, or or mostly importing the r raw materials. Go faster. One hundred fifty thousand. We are here. We need to next month. We need to export uh, to the to the. Um, to the western border because this this we are reliant on this for the um, for the food and for the electricity things like this. Yeah, two is still a little bit of overload. Also, the vehicles are really um, loading pretty quickly. 2542. So I think this will take a while now until this vehicle will realize I'm full. Uh, because this will load and then they will both go there. So probably the whole, you know what, what, what the whole. Um, I don't want to wait until April the 1st. And oh, you are going. Oh, you did. No, this, it's sooner. But you are going to the to the to the export stuff, and then you're going back to your old uh, workplace. Because I don't want two vehicles waiting until loaded, <laughs> and then it's going to be uh, April. So go go go. That's what I like about the modded ones. You have all kinds of colors. Almost the minis. You have an English flag on top and things like this. So, 200,000. January, February, March. That's 31 days. So we have a couple of days left. Oh, no, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I was going to say to you, go to work. Uh, where did you come from? I believe here. Uh, uh. Did you come from there? Yeah, because here's the other one. Okay. Go. Um, I don't know. Oh yeah, March has even three more days. 31. New load of steel. Are you happy? Still nagging about kindergarten. I mean, come on. 
this is probably the same as if you have two sh shops that go to uh, imagine if this is a, a shop and this is a shop this is actually a sh shop and all the people go to this sh sh shop this one gets overloaded and then they go to this shop and then this shop gets overloaded and they go back and forth back and forth and this has been in it for well at least half a year or maybe lo longer so i like to have one big shop in every city center because of that reason 31st of march and well this won't get exported anymore so we're waiting until april 1st so april 1st okay so what's the end result if we extra Late. I don't know if that's an English word. If you go from 1 to 19 March to the whole month. What would we make in a month um, now? Uh, that would be last month. So we have 179,000. Which we um, exported in a month. And the 53,000 is 25, 35, 38. 38. Thousands is um, the the import of the of the of the goods to create the um, the vehicles. Thirty eight. So that's one hundred and forty thousand, approximately profit in a, in a month. And if we if we deduct the uh, fifty thousand, then it's about one hundred and twenty thousand ish. Well, I think that's great. We are making. 120,000 profit. Whoa. Well, that's really great. I would never have thought of this. I, I was pretty... Um, how do you say this? Um, careful with saying 30,000 of profit. But 120,000 a month in a year? That is incredible. And this will set you up. You can create anything in your whole republic now. And uh, you know that the export prices of the vehicles are not going to change. We have enough money to, to start uh, filling this up and creating uh, police, creating our uh, monstrous, uh, how do you say this, um, where is it again, uh, the culture, <laughs> our monstrous radio station. Or uh, maybe, maybe we could even have done that, uh, have our, um, the, our Red Star monument to increase our, because I think our... Um, has gone down it's going down so we really need to do stuff about our loyalty that's true um so yeah 120,000 in a year profit not not a turnover profit is excellent so and now for the sputnik challenge this is me doing my best at editing because now it's december the 23rd and the rest of this episode has been recorded a couple of days ago um first i want to apologize for all my uh, mistakes in the calculations. Uh, I didn't know I had it in me to make so many mistakes in such a sh short time. I rest assured, I do know how to subtract and add and things like this, but recording kind of uh, um, took that away from me. Um, so what are we, a, a lot of you have asked to please continue this map, but I want to ha always have a goal or, or challenge or uh, things like this. And uh, for me, I set this up to be um, uh, self-sustainable within a year and also make this much a profit, which is more than I said in uh, the, the previous part of this video. And um, well, a year ago I did the Sputnik challenge and the Sputnik challenge is a really nice challenge. Uh, Mods um, um, Palace. I'm, I'm going to show you what we are going to make. This monument, uh, which I will place uh, here just to show you a little bit, is huge. Let me show you. This is the monument that I want to create. And uh, the Sputnik challenge is actually a challenge with several rules like no loans. It has to be in realistic mode. You cannot export uh, certain things like bitumen or um, how you say this bauxite or uh, oil or easy money makers. And so there are a bunch of rules. And uh, the Sputnik challenge has been around for over a year. I did this a year ago. 
uh, but the rules were still uh, uh, created by the idea that there wasn't a realistic mode. So they talk about what you can put in your initial city. So what I've done, I've contacted the creators of the rules on their uh, Discord. And I've asked if I could uh, create a series of this with uh, adapted rules. So we uh, together adapted uh, those rules. But one of the rules, and I will go into this further when, I, when I'm releasing the first episode here. One of the rules is you cannot export anything uh, that you don't create everything yourself. Well, in this case, we've been exporting beats and we have been importing everything here. So we cannot do this on this map. Uh, but what uh, now is um, all the people there on the Discord are doing the Sputnik challenge on this map. So what I want to do, and that's the first challenge. I want to uh, uh, restart this map and do the Sputnik challenge. And what I want to do is create my initial starter city somewhere here, which is about three and a half kilometers from the border. And I have to uh, be done within a year. Uh, I cannot um, I cannot export sewage or import water. So that's going to be a new challenge in itself. And once the, the, that uh, challenge is done, we have created a Sputnik uh, uh, monument. I would like to continue on the map and kind of uh, um, see to expand to other islands and really make this a let's play but for now it would also be too hard and too slow to start on this island and from here expand that uh, would be a bit um, hard I think and also it would be more challenging to create this this uh, monument that being said um, I wanted to talk to you about what uh, Frankie said about exporting the vehicles. And I have to uh, go to his uh, comment. He said, well, on the 6th of February 1961, it's worth 16,444 rubles, a whole uh, l um, export of one um, flatbed. But on the 20 21st of February, February it's, it's worth 15,963 which is about 500 uh, rubles less and I thought and that was also in the uh, in the community report that uh, exporting vehicles uh, the price change uh, would be unaffected so this could be inflation but that is a lot for two weeks having so little uh, so much inflation so what I want to do I want to speed you up a little bit because you are going to get the new vehicles. Do we have six? Yeah, we have six. And uh, I want to kind of show the April 9th, April 10th, probably when it is loaded, uh, what it's worth now. And uh, see if, if the price uh, changes. Um, let me see. Three, four, five, six. It's now 15,168. So. We are more than a, a, a thousand, uh, uh, 1300 rubles below our initial starting price. So this makes me think that contrary to what the um, uh, community report has said, that yeah, vehicle, pro uh, vehicle exporting uh, does affect the price. So what I want to do now, because I, I, I'm, I'm not saying that this isn't profitable, Paul, because it clearly is. Uh, what I want to do, I want to fast forward to a year uh, after this. So I'm going to uh, let this run a bit. And on April 10th, 1962, I want to uh, see what its uh, what it, its exporting price is worth. So let me edit a little bit and uh, come back to you in a year. So we are at 19 September 1961. Have here uh, one and a half year. Um, we have been playing now and it's it's half a year since uh, first I, uh, we started collecting data so I've kind of made a spreadsheet about what everything has been doing that's kind of uh, increased the size a little bit so um, Frankie's data was uh, this was the selling price at uh, February the 2nd so I've been 
going fast forward and I see the price going up and down but mostly going up and it's almost at 16,000. I haven't seen a price drop like this. Uh, like, like this is a one and a half thousand which is pretty big. One and a half thousand, yeah. Um, but after that it has been going up and up and up and up and up. So uh, I'm not really sure what's happening but uh, I do see that it, it, it isn't dropping anymore but the initial drop was a bit weird oh and I also wanted to show you at 19 uh, March 1961 we had a population of 1763 uh, today we have a population of 2268 which is a change of 505 uh, in half a year so that would be a thousand in a year which which is a pretty big uh, population growth uh, and I haven't imported any people uh, a anymore and what uh, for the rest I did uh, well I was waiting I kind of upgraded some some road but also I added these monuments and so I wanted to see in in my spreadsheet here uh, this is when the Monuments were finished and loyalty was at 43%, which was a 21st of June. And so let's see, the loyalty is now 46%. So it doesn't do a lot in uh, three months, but maybe on the long run. But this Republic is in dire need of a radio station. And I thought, well, uh, it would also be interesting to look at what, what does the pollution do. So I added this pollution monitor. So let's see what does this um and uh well it's actually pretty green where the people live it's, it's now september and we're still above um zero degrees but uh, it's one of the, one of the first things i put in because the pollution comes to think mainly because the, the mainly it, it's here even where it's I think the, the wind blows like that or something i don't know and the factory is also not too bad pollution wise i think but i don't know why this this part so don't go live there but when i uh finished this um pollution monitor was uh, i think like 10th of april something there then we're just out of winter uh, and then you could really see some red markings here it started about here uh, but uh, there were uh, the people were living was actually quite green so what i'm assuming is when it gets winter that uh that the uh the heating is going on that's when the pollution will go in this direction but when it gets summer and no one is using um uh, heat anymore that it, it's it even is, it's getting cleaner so you might even get away with uh, um a factory like this because in summer it kind of cleans up so uh and i wanted to show you as well what our what, what our uh, lifespan is it's 82 years and this has been going up if i if i look at this year this year you can even see it's slightly going up so and the productivity has gone up and i think that's to do with the monuments are we at 44 no, the loyalty is the same so maybe in the productivity levels we can kind of see let's let's look at um lifespan spend you uh speed you up a little bit this has been going mostly up down and now it's going down but i don't know anyway i just wanted to share that with you uh, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sharing this uh, safe game and I, I will put a link i will also put a link in the for the spreadsheet if you want to kind of look for yourself i will share this safe game and and also the safe game uh, uh of episode 9 when i end it so then you will start at april 1st um i really hope you enjoyed this uh series and i hope to i hope that you join me at the new series with the sputnik challenge uh rest to say to me to all of you have a merry merry christmas and i hope everything everyone is healthy and that you have a really nice dinner um thank you very much for watching hope to see you next time bye bye oh i forgot what what is the what are we wait a minute wait a minute 
Wait a minute, what, what, what are we getting now for a full uh, load? Obviously very interesting to know. Uh, um, so let's load you up real quick. So now we at 15,482 and we ended here at 50,674. So how that works, I don't have a clue, but the general consensus is it's going up. So uh, have a merry, merry Christmas and this time or two, bye bye.